Hi, this is a video response for Candace. She posted a video showing how um, she's having some problems with the threads on her sewing machine and she put some detail in there so I could really kind of see what was going on and I'd really like to try and help. This is my best guess because I'm not an expert um, on anything, honestly. Uh, but the first thing, Candace, that I want to say is I don't think it's your bobbin. I saw the second video. Thank you so much for, for posting that. And even though the bobbin's not wound, you know, it's not flat all the way across it, it really doesn't look bad. What I was thinking that if it was a bobbin problem, you would actually see loops in the bobbin. Um, and, and that would kind of really tell you it was a badly wound bobbin. Yours is just a little bit unevenly wound. I've never found that to cause the type of problems that you're having. So I did notice this though. It looks like on your sample piece, you are trying to sew what looks like a, a plain fabric on top, but it looks like um, some type of chenille on the bottom, something with uh, a lot of texture, a, a little fuzzy bit, kind of like this one is. I'm kind of thinking that that's where the problem's coming from. Um, I, I ran this past my daughter too. She's done a lot more sewing with chenille than I have. And her first answer, without ever seeing your video, was that um, maybe you need a stabilizer on the bottom um, to protect that chenille from getting caught up in the works. And it's not necessarily that the chenille's you know, going down into um, under the needle plate and into the race, but it's it's definitely causing, we think it's what's causing your problem. I know that when I've sewn with this kind of a soft fluffy fabric and had the fluffy part, the textured part, um, flat down um, so that the soft part was on the underneath and it messed up every single time. So Sarah's suggestion was use some type of a stabilizer. Now you can buy a tearaway stabilizer or a dissolvable stabilizer, and those are fairly common. You should be able to find that at your local fabric store. Um, and a, the, this isn't stabilizer, but it's really close. You should be able to see through um, the stabilizer fabric. It's just very, very lightweight. Um, the tearaway kind is, and then the dissolvable, it almost looks like plastic um, food covering type stuff. Uh, so those could be solutions for you. The other thing, I mean, the first thing I thought was, why does she have the fuzzy stuff down? Just turn it over, you know, put, put it where the fuzzy stuff is facing up. Even if you're doing decorative stitches, the decorative stitches will still show. Um, the bobbin will stitch them out. So if you have to do just those two layers with with the fabric and then the fluffy stuff you know turn it turn it so that the the fluffy side is up um, I'm I'm real sure that would solve your problem um, the the last thing of course is if if for some reason you're not using chenille as part of your project this was just a test piece um, either add a third fabric so that it's kind of acts like a quilt sandwich with um, two layers of fabric and then the the soft um, fuzzy batting or wadding in the middle um, but but have that have that plain fabric on the bottom and my guess is even as a test piece you'll find that you aren't having problems anymore I did watch you thread the machine and and again thanks for making that too for me because that's really common that um, it, it's very, very common actually that the top thread is not through all the guides and that causes problems, believe it or not, on the back side of your, pro of your project. So it does look like you're threading your machine properly. I didn't see exactly, um, it, it looked like you had the presser foot up when you were threading your machine and that's very important. The presser foot has to be up, not sitting down on the bed of the machine. If the presser foot is down, your thread won't catch through all the guides on top and it won't set securely and sooner or later you will have problems there too. So always remember, keep that presser foot up while you're threading your machine. And um, last, 
I, I sent a message to a fellow that I met um, on YouTube. I don't, I don't really know him, but we've, we've messaged each other before and left comments on each other's channels. I'm really impressed with his knowledge of sewing machines and he, he loves the old sewing machines just like I do. So I sent a help message to him asking if he could take a look at your video too and hopefully he'll check in with um, what he thinks might be going on as well. Okay, so hang in there. We're going to solve this problem. All right. Thanks so much for asking me and giving me a chance to help you.